checking out the Utah Launch Complex. It was a Cold War military sub-installation of White Sands Missile Range for the Air Force and Army. In addition to firing Pershing missiles, the complex launched Athena RTV missiles with subscale test warheads from 1964 to 75, there were 244 launches, including 141 Athena launches. Looks like a conveyor system, taking it down underground over there. Other buildings. Another one going up here. There's another building over that hill. Here I'm on top of one of the buildings. These probably go down to the inside. Somewhere around here. Interesting. Looks like whatever came out of that building and down that conveyor went down here to go under this road and then back up here to continue down that one. Barricade walls up there, like you can hide behind it for some blasts of launches. This round thing, and some cracks so they can roll stuff between here and the building. So the 
danger. I don't know how all their launch complex stuff works, but I'm guessing it was moved from in there, down these tracks, to launch right here, and those block the blast. Just a wild guess from someone who has no clue. There's another launch pad up there between those four posts. And another over that hill and another further over beyond that. I walked out beyond it to show that it's a bonus bluff up here above the desert. Here's another one. So they probably had the building right here on this foundation. There's where the tracks would go down to the round thing, I guess they would call it. This radio tower didn't last. Such an interesting place.
Well, I came back into town and they've got an Athena missile here in the park. Been here before and seen it, but I didn't make the connection. Kind of cool to see it after visiting the complex. It says Athena missile, first launched from Green River, Utah, February 10th, 1864. Launch vehicle for USAF reentry system, testing manufactured by the Atlantic Research Corporation, dedicated at the Green River, Utah, April 27, 1968, full scale model. And they've got this sign about the history of it all. A map here showing you are here in the park. There's the missile assembly area. Radar missile tracking facilities. And this launch site is where we were. I'll put all this in the description and on the web page linked in the description so you don't have to listen to me read it all. We've also got this piece of art here depicting the Loki Dart meteorologi Meteorological Missile. First launched from Green River, Utah in 1964. This missile is launched as part of the extensive weather analysis performed in support of larger missile launched from the Utah Launch Complex, White Sands Missile Range presented by the U.S. Army.